Good morning everybody, welcome to worship this Monday morning. Let's begin worship by lighting our candles. So, Jesus is the light of the world. Shine, Jesus, shine. I'm going to keep that here to remind us that God is here during this special time, whether we're in school or whether we're at home. And we remember that during this worship time, although we're not all in the same building, we're all very much together within our school community. So this morning during worship, I wanted to focus on hopes and dreams and plans for the future. And I want you to have a little think about what your hopes are for the coming year. See if you can think of one in your mind or perhaps talk to someone in your house about what your hope or plan might be. And I wonder if your hope and plan now is the same as what it would have been at the start of the year on the 1st of January in 2021. We didn't know at that point that schools weren't going to be opening. And now that we know that we're not going to be in school together for a little while longer. So are your hopes still the same? Are your plans for the coming year changed? Mine certainly have and my hopes have become stronger and stronger for certain things that I would like to happen with for all of you this year in school. Have a little think about that just while we um, take a moment. <laughs> opportunity to think about your hopes and dreams maybe for the coming year I'm going to share with you a story an old folk traditional tale about three trees now I know we've looked at this before in worship but today I think it's a really really important tale to think about that these three trees all had hopes and dreams and plans for their future but they didn't go quite as they had envisaged them or had hoped but they turned out to be even better than they ever could have truly imagined. Let's watch that video now. Once upon a mountain top, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in all the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave the mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, Three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. 
I shall hold wonderful treasures. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be the strongest ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter shop. But the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned him into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. Too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly, the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon, a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun, and suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. I hope you enjoyed that video of the story of the tale of the three trees. 
Now from watching the story, you can see how each of those trees had their own plan, their own dreams for the future, but God had a very different plan for them. And actually, that plan was more special than they could have ever, ever dreamed of. He used them in such different ways to ensure that they were right at the forefront of Jesus's life that they all had pivotal moments, that they were all truly special and blessed in what they did in their future. His plan for them was there from the beginning and he held fast to his plan throughout. So although sometimes it may feel like at the moment our plans and our dreams of playing with our friends, being at school, being all together can't happen, we have to trust in God that he's there for us, getting us through this and ensuring that one day we will be all back in school, we will all be back in the school hall singing our songs together and that we will be following God's plan. At school we hold the Bible verse Jeremiah twenty nine eleven at the heart of absolutely everything that we do. We trust in God. We know that he has plans for us, plans to give us hope and a future. We need to hold this true to everything that we do in the coming weeks and remind us that he has a plan for us as individuals and us as in a school. And I know that this time will make us even stronger and make our hopes and dreams even more determined to happen in the future. Let's all sing together now, plans. From the breaking of the daylight Help us see the world through your eyes Finding beauty in the broken Trusting promises you've spoken You've got plans to give us a future and a hope I remember taking a picture on the last day of term two. It was just after break time and a rainbow appeared above in the sky. We'd had a bit of rain and the sun was then shining. But that rainbow reminded me of God's promise. The promise that we hold true to us 
in our Bible verse of Jeremiah 29 11 that God has a plan for us and he stays true to all of his promises. We need to remind ourselves that he is here with us, that he will keep us strong and we will get through this together. It will make our school an even greater place to be. And those times when we come back together, it will be even more special. Just think of times when you might have seen a rainbow. What was God trying to remind you might be happening for you? How did that help you stay true to your hopes and dreams? Just take a little moment now to think about that. Dear God, guide us, guide us in our hopes, our dreams and our futures. God bless us, bless us with health, happiness and our dreams. God, love us, love us and stay true to our promises so that we continue to have hope and a future with you guiding us along our way. Amen. Let's end our worship by blowing out our candles. Jesus is the light of the world, a light, no darkness can put out have a good day of remote learning everybody looking forward to seeing you again on friday for our live golden book worship and seeing all the fantastic things you've achieved this week if i think back to the start of last week and the hopes and dreams that i would have had for the week ahead you totally surpassed those and the plans that we had for you (laughs) 